It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968, Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man best suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task, protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, Rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Bell? Well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. 
word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Yo. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Krauss. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Krauss as he enters the city. Once Volkov shows his face, it's killer capture. Information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. First, he smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. Yes, sir, I'm on it. from green light didn't tell us what else are you hiding maybe i can knock the truth out of you you might want to rethink that woods everybody stand down this little pissing match isn't going to help us catch perseus why didn't you tell us it was an american nuke he needed us to clean up his mess the best has been lying to us all along it's not a lie it's an omission of fact that's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced that the Reds moved on Europe. We couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. You're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're 
trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the Greenlight nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau? I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. I'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want it more. Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamatau. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know. But we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it at all. The Lubyanka building. KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantau. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. 
I need you to relax and focus, pal. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years, fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line. To make sure the line's still there in the morning. 